Hey, DigitalDJGear.com, I'm Pulse, and you're here at the Pioneer DJ booth at NAMM 2023, and we're gonna take you through some of our new products, including the DJM A9, the Opus Quad, and the new DDJ Flex 10 controller. All right, so what we have here is the DJM A9. This follows our massively successful DJM 900 series. This is the club industry standard mixer, four channels, and what we've done is made improvements. So seven years of the 900 Nexus 2 have led us to a lot of response from feedback and, uh, from DJs, and we've got all of those things incorporated into this new A9 mixer. Improved sound quality, a second headphone cue bus for DJ duos who are working together back to back. We also have two USB-C connections, so we're moving, moving forward in the future with new connection types. We also have revamped uh, effect section and a new mic channel. So let's talk about some of these features. All right, so working from the left side of the mixer, we've got a brand new mic section here that not only has your two mics with a bunch of brand new effects, including an echo, a pitch, megaphone filter, but a dedicated mic reverb that is separate from all of your standard effects, which of course you can still apply to the mic as well. There's a new talk to press the talk feature on the mic. So you press the button down and while it's blinking, it will activate the microphone, but as soon as you release it, it shuts it off. Not only that, but we have a phantom power, so you can plug in a condenser microphone with the phantom power. And this allows you to use those sweet sounds for your streaming setup in your studio. Get a different choice of microphone there. We brought back a very favorite, the MIDI on off. Allows you to start and stop your MIDI triggers directly from the mixer. And moving down, we've got the new sound color effects center lock. Now what this does is allows you to control your, no your knob movement by switching it to off. You're able to use the knob as you would normally from low to high all the way across. But once you engage the center lock, the knob will stop its rotation at the 12 o'clock position so you never overshoot. I know lots of DJs had their filters enabled and they would miss the 12 o'clock position by just a little bit and they wonder why it sounded off when they mix the next track in. But when you enable that center lock, it'll always stop. But all you have to do is give it a slight release of the pressure and it will continue to rotate through past the 12 o'clock position. Otherwise, you can continue to just jam away and hit that 12 o'clock stops every time. As we mentioned, the headphone queuing, you've got an A and a B bus, so you have separate controls for both. The left side is the A and the right side is the B. We've got a uh, connector on the front and on the face, so you have separate connections for your two DJs. The channels themselves have got your standard connections for your digital, your device connection, the send and return, as well as the USB but we've also introduced a Bluetooth input. So you've got the ability to connect the device. So a DJ who's maybe taking a request or just wants to fill something in, you're able to connect in a mobile device and have Bluetooth control for any channel you assign it to. The Crossfader, of course, a Magvel, but this is our newest version of the Magvel. It is designed for a much better feeling and a lot more cycle longevity. We've got Booth EQ, something we brought over from the V10. is a demand for having an EQ on your booth volume output. So that's what we've brought in for you. Moving over to the right, you've got a new display on the beat effects section. The X-pad gives you additional control over what you have on the parameter timing. We still kept the frequency control so you can select those, but one huge thing that makes it really easy to see what you're doing now, the channel select is a direct button. No longer do you have to select the knob and a beat effects indicator on each channel will indicate which one is selected as well as the master and the crossfader and the mic. Moving up to the top, we've got a revamped I.O. section. Here we've got an RMX 1000 that's connected, but you can also connect into USB devices you previously had for DJM Rack or for a VST type app that's running through AudioBus because it supports AudioBus devices. The DJM A9 is a fantastic revision of the popular mixer that we've had in clubs all around the world, and I hope you get to check yours out soon. Moving on, we've got the Opus Quad. This is our newest flagship all-in-one playback unit acting both as a standalone player and a controller for software. But what makes this unit truly unique, not only is its striking appearance, but the fact that it is our first controller unit that has four deck playback from one USB. So it's an enhanced uh, CPU in here that'll give you quicker access to larger libraries, new database format, along with USB 3 connectivity, both on the back and the top, give you rapid access to large libraries, so you no longer have to take your, your computer with you to deal with a larger uh, library and a bigger event. And speaking of big events, the size of this thing is perfect. It is a large four channel layout with two full size jogs and a beautiful appearance that will work for any event, even if it's a high end or a low end event. But one of the things that jumps out at you immediately, not only the shape, 
with this large 10.1 inch multi-touch display. I'm showing you lots of information on here as well as the two separate smaller displays. These are not touch, however, they give you track information. So even if you're busy browsing through your collection on the main display, you still have details available to you as to where you're playing in the track, what your pitch values are, your beat loop value, your beat jump value, and the album artwork. And hey, I would be remiss if I didn't tell you, you would be able to tell which deck you're controlling by the color. This is a customizable color that you can choose for each of the decks. So you always know where you're at, whether you're browsing the songs or looking at your uh, tracks here. And one of the other favorite things that you've got with the color is a new feature called a smart cue. So normally when you hit a hot cue to load up a track, you're gonna have to set that point manually by stopping the track, going back to where it was, and then hit, hitting the cue button. But now with the smart cue, when you press the cue, a hot cue button, you'll notice the cue jog, the cue ring here will illuminate the same color as the hot cue to indicate that it's ready to load that cue point. So pressing the cue the first time sets that cue as the main cue point for the deck. And the jogs LED also shows the cue is set to that particular one. So you've got lots of visual indicators here to help you DJ better. The mixer itself has four channels that are selectable inputs by the touch screen here. So you can choose your deck, your line, your phono, or your Bluetooth input, because yes, this also has a Bluetooth input. Here you can also change your effects. And speaking of effects, you can turn the knob and have the beat effects show up on screen. So you're able to select through the various effects that are here. And once you've got your effect chosen, hitting the beat effects button on the left side of the screen gives you an XY pad for further control and dialing it in just nicely, as well as your parameter levels on the mixer section itself. You press and hold the smooth echo, which is a bring over from the S11. You've got a visual representation of the Opus Quad itself and have the ability to change the timing, the assignments, and how many beats it echoes out. This is not gonna stop there though, because we also have a zone output. The zone output allows you to send a separate signal from either deck three, four, or a duplicate of the master to a separate area. So if you're working in an event that has another room, a cocktail space, for example, and you wanna have different sound going to that room, you can assign the zone output and then even send the microphone only to that zone. This is the Opus Quad. And finally, we have the DDJ Flex 10. This is one of our flagship controllers that offers you the best of both worlds, giving you record box and Serato control in one unit. So we've taken the DDJ 1000 and the DDJ 1000 SRT and brought them together because we've got some fantastic new features here, including part control. I know a lot of DJs were really excited about the ability to do stem and part control in software. And now we've made it easier than ever with direct controls, not just on the deck, but also in the effects section and in the mixer itself. So let's take a look at some of these features that make the Flex 10 a wonderful new controller. Starting at the top left here, the independent part control for the deck. And what's really cool is you'll see the colors of the jog change to reflect the status of those parts. There's actually another mode that will allow you to show the combination of the parts. So if I have only the drums muted, the vocal instrument, red and green, makes yellow. So the jog will actually illuminate in yellow. The information is shown on the display here is not just one waveform now, but two. And you've got multiple modes, of course, that you can switch through using shift plus the page button, show your album artwork, your own custom logo, a single overview waveform, and of course, dual waveforms that show you what's happening on each deck. So you can do the manipulation of the deck and look at the jog without having to look up at your screen. Dedicated pad uh, beat jump buttons here in addition to the pads, which are always popular, and a variety of different modes, both for Recordbox and Serato, have their own unique features. But hidden up at the top here, we have Mix Point Link. Mix Point Link is a new feature in Recordbox that allows you to set a mix out point of the song so you can transition to your songs automatically by having the song ready to queue up, and as the songs pass each other, they'll line up and start playing, which allows you to be a little bit more creative so you don't need to necessarily focus on the timing of your transitions, giving you opportunity to play more with the effects. And speaking of effects, as we mentioned, the part select gives you access to drum, vocal, and instrument. And here it affects the sound color as well as the beat effects. So if you're affecting the reverb, uh, this little bit of filter, for example, and you want to do it on vocal only, now your, vo your vocals would be filtered as well as any of the beat effects you select. So for example, if I go into an echo with the vocals on, that is only going to affect the vocals. 
Now, let's say you wanted to do a little bit more of a mix as opposed to having just the vocals cut in and out with a solid uh, active part or mute. You can take the, uh, the channel section here, hold the shift button and the Q, and when it's blinking, that means you're in part ISO mode. So now your EQ knobs become an adjustment level for your drums, your vocals, and your instruments. So all those is direct controls to mix your, uh, your set you got a much larger sense of control across all the separate parts, but it gets better. Not only are the parts better, but the sound quality is better. This is an improved audio quality, not just for the DJ itself, but also the phono inputs. That was a big feedback we heard from the DJs. So we've improved the phono input on here. So whether you're playing vinyl or DBS, sound quality is improved. And on top of that, it's actually got lighting control. There's a DMX output built in directly. So you just eliminate one more box, eliminate software, have your lighting control directly through the DJ Flex 10. That's it for us here at the NAM 2023 show. Thanks for checking us out and thanks for watching on digitaldjgear.com. We hope you enjoyed this video from Digital DJ Gear and Musically Yours. To learn more about all of our pro audio, lighting, DJ, and recording equipment, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel now. Be sure to leave a comment below if this video helped you and check out these other videos we think you'll like. Until next time, thanks for watching.